Welcome back to the program. We are now joined by Mari Luna and Yahida Bonet with Paso a Paso, the radio program. Amigas, welcome to the Buford News. Thank you. Gracias. De nada. I'm happy you're here. So ladies, tell us what you're doing just one step at a time across the local airwaves. Well, one innovative way uh, that PASOS engages the Latino community in South Carolina is through a radio show called Paso a Paso. Paso a Paso is um, produced in four areas of the state, one of them being here in Beaufort County. Um, each month, Paso a Paso um, brings uh, programs to the, to the community in which we use the uh, PASOS educational curriculum in where health information, uh, parenting information, oral health, um, child development, and obesity prevention and more are brought to the community and are shared with the community um, in order to bring that information uh, to them. Well, ladies, you have both the looks and the chops for TV. Why is radio your chosen medium? Well, radio is considered as an engaging and effective way to reach our Latino population with health message, particularly those who live in the rural areas who have um, little access to information. So what makes unsuccessful our programs is that we share personal stories with our community health workers with information that's meaningful to our community, presented in ways that value our Latino culture and celebrate strengths. And also we have special guests that are experts in the themes that we are talking about. Truly, knowledge is power. Tell me how you all got started. Well, um, years ago, um, we were asked to interpret for one of the guests at a local radio, Spanish radio station in Bluffton. After that, uh, then we were asked if we could participate in a new show called Dinamismo Latino. Um, after that, a grant from the South... Um, oh, Lord, I forgot the agency. I'm sorry. That can be cut. Okay, um, after that, a grant from Every Woman Southeast um, helped us to create a show in which community health workers were part of the, were the presenters of the program, and that's how Paso a Paso started. Then Friends of Kalawasi also uh, grant us uh, more money to continue doing the show for a year, and in 2014, um, March of, the March of Dimes funded uh, the creation of a radio drama called Las Reinas No Somos Tontas, which in English would be something like The Queen Sisters Are Not Idiots. And the title is a game with words in Spanish, and it follows the life of three um, Latina women here in South Carolina. The focus of the show or the, was designed to capture the attention of the audience with real stories. Um, that have relevance in the lives of Latino families that live here in South Carolina. The stories were written and recorded also by volunteer community health workers uh, from the Midlands area. And uh, then what we did here locally is we presented the radio drama and then our local community health workers um, introduced them and talked about the subjects that were being on the show and that also had relevance with the people here in our area. Ladies, we're very short on time, but quickly tell us, what station are you on and what time can we tune in? Locally here in Beaufort, we are aired every first and third Monday of the month in La Que Buena, 1430 AM. You could also listen to us via internet at www.tunein.com or download the app of TuneIn. All right, 1430 AM, TuneIn.com. Maribel and Yahida, thank you so much uh, we appreciate you coming on, ladies. Come back again soon, okay? Thank you. Gracias, Kevin. Muchas gracias.